Across the world, in the face of a resurgent right wing and continuing capitalist oppression, the workers are on the move. In this show, Around the World in 8 Minutes, we bring you stories of struggle and resistance, stories of common people united in their rejection of this unjust system. In today's episode, we look at a struggle by nurses in private hospitals in India who are on the streets demanding a minimum wage and the benefits they are entitled to. We also look at a strike in Hebron against the building of new and illegal settlements by Israeli occupiers in violation of international law. Finally, we take you to Argentina where the far right-wing neoliberal regime of Mauricio Macri has finally come to an end with the swearing-in of the left-wing Alberto Fernandez and Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner. Before we begin, here is a quick look at the continuing protests in France against the dangerous pension reforms proposed by President Emmanuel Macron. The workers of France have been protesting these reforms for months as they will force them to work longer before retirement and take away many of their benefits. The workers conducted a massive strike on December 5th, bringing the country to a halt. But their protests have continued and they have refused to retreat till their demands are met. Here are some scenes from the protests. We now go to New Delhi in India, where thousands of nurses of private hospitals took out a massive rally on December 10th, demanding that the minimum wages promised by the provincial government be provided to them. These nurses have been protesting for over two and a half months, demanding the implementation of a court verdict, which ordered that they be paid the same minimum wage as their counterparts in government institutions. According to the verdict, the nurses are to be paid a minimum wage of Rs 20,000 per month, which is around $277. But even today, Nurses in many private hospitals get about half of what their counterparts in government institutions earn. Let's hear what the nurses have to say. My name is Krishna, I am a staff nurse from Saroja Hospital. We are all the nurses of private hospital in Delhi. Because we are doing the same thing for a half month. We have done the same thing for 15 days. But we are not going to be full. We are not going to be full. We are not going to be full. The high court and supreme court प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल की नर्सिस के लिए मिनिमम वेजेस लागू करने के लिए वो मिनिमम वेजेस हमें नहीं मिल रहा है तो उसी लिए हमने केजरीवाल सरकार से बात की उन्होंने 2018 में हमसे मिलके बोला था कि अगर सुप्रीम कोर्ट का ऑर्डर आता है तो मैं आप लोगों के साथ हूँ दिल्ली सरकार आप इतना अच्छा काम करते हो आपके साथ है और हमारे सरकार का हमारी पार्टी का कोई भी आदमी मैनेजमेंट से नहीं मिलेगा आप लोगों का राइट आपको मिलेगा आप लोगों को राइट आपका जरूर मिलेगा हम दिलवा के रहेंगे बट उन्होंने ऐसा अपना प्रॉमिस पूरा नहीं किया है हम ये चाहते हैं कि जो गवर्नमेंट ने ऑर्डर दिया है जो हाई कोर्ट ने सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ऑर्डर दिया है वो फॉलो हो हम पिछले डेढ़ महीने से स्ट्राइक पे चल रहे हैं सत्याग्रह पे चल रहे हैं जंतर मंतर पे हम कंटिन्यू स्ट्राइक कर रहे हैं एक दिन भी आके हमें सरकार की तरफ से कोई आके नहीं पूछ रहा है इतनी सारी नर्सेज है 90 परसेंट फीमेल है जो कि प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल में जॉब करती है लेकिन केजरीवाल सरकार तो ये कहते हैं हम फीमेल्स का इतना सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं कैमरे लगा रहे हैं फ्री कर रहे हैं उनके लिए यात्रा फ्री कर रहे हैं उनके लिए टिकट्स फ्री कर रहे हैं बट हमें कुछ फ्री नहीं चाहिए हम अपना किराया खुद पे कर रहेंगे सब अपना किराया पे करेंगे जस्ट हमारे जो डिमांड्स है हमारी जो कमाई है हक की कमाई है सिर्फ वो हमें दे दो हमारे मिनिमम वेजेस जो 
सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने हाई कोर्ट ने लागू किया वो सिर्फ हमें दे दो हमें बाकी किसी की भीख की जरूरत नहीं है वी नाउ गो टू पैलेस्टाइन वेर मेजर स्ट्राइक वॉज हेल्ड इन दिटी ऑफ हेब्रॉन अगेंस्ट द डिसीजन ऑफ द इसराइली गवर्नमेंट टू बिल्ड मोर इलीगल सेटलमेंट इन दिटी these new apartments will come in place of an old fruits and vegetables market in the city and will double the jewish population from the current 800 to 900 people these apartments and illegal settlements are in complete violation of international law which stipulates that an occupying power cannot cause demographic change in a place it is occupied during the strike all official institutions city offices schools and local shops remain closed israeli security forces attacked the protesters using live gunfire and tear gas Three Palestinians were shot and wounded by the live gunfire. Violence and repression by Israeli forces has intensified in recent times, especially in the aftermath of the U.S. declaration that it would no longer consider settlements as illegal. After this announcement, Israel went on an overdrive, announcing new settlements and construction. The decision on Hebron was announced by Israeli Defense Minister Naftali Bennett on December 1st. Hebron has been under military occupation since 1967. Over 20,000 Palestinians live in the city. they face severe restrictions and prohibitions every day they are unable to access various parts of the city the israeli army imposes curfews and cracks down harshly on any mobilizations and jewish settlers often attack the residents all sections of the palestinian political establishment have united against this move by the israeli occupying forces in the coming days more resistance will definitely be mounted against this illegal move we end on a positive note in argentina where the left wing government of president alberto fernandez and vice president cristina fernandez de kirchner took office on december 10th vamos a ponerle fin al hambre que es algo que debe avergonzarnos Saber que hay un argentino pasando hambre es algo que debe avergonzarnos. En la Argentina que se viene, se terminaron los operadores judiciales, los operadores de la inteligencia, los jueces que se prestan a esos operadores y los linchamientos mediáticos que todos los días soportamos. The coming to power of this new government marks an end to 4 years of brutal neoliberal cutbacks and austerity policies by the regime of Mauricio Macri. The end of the Macri regime is the result of a powerful mobilization by Argentina's working class, feminist, indigenous and progressive movements who fought on the streets week after week. The government comes to power at a difficult time. The prices of basic services have drastically risen due to Macri's austerity reforms. At least 40% of Argentina's people are below the poverty line. Homelessness and food insecurity have hit millions of people which has affected their well-being as well as the economy. In the coming months, the popular movements of Argentina will look forward to a government which addresses their concerns and takes Argentina in a leftward direction after years of reactionary policies both domestically and abroad. That's all we have for this episode of Around the World in 8 Minutes. To know more about these stories visit our website peoplesdispatch.org and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching.